Hello, my friends. I'm so glad you're here. So we're going to do some yoga poses or some stretches, however you want to look at it, using a chair as a prop. So you can also use a desk or a table. My chair is pretty high, so it's going to give me a lot of lifts. If you need more lift, use a higher back chair. Use whatever you got, really. All right, we're going to start with our hands on the chair and just finding your plumb line from your head to your feet. I'm Maeve. I'm happy you're here. Put your hands down to feel your shoulders draw down your back. So you're pressing the shoulders down, and then you're squeezing armpit to hip so that you relax. These big muscles of your back start to engage. And we're just going to take a few breaths here. Yoga is about balancing work and ease, strength and softness. So you're not gripping here, you're not jamming your hands down, you've just got some awareness in the hands pressing down. As you do that, smooth out the breath, start to feel like you're zipping the front of your body up. Rising energy. And then all we're going to do is keep the breath flowing in and out through the nose. You're going to take a few steps back until you feel like you can drop your chest down and you're supported. So for me, I'm going to put my ears between my biceps because I feel good here, but that might be too intense on your shoulders, in which case just kind of keep an upward angle on your spine. If you're comfortable here, you're not dropping below, you're just ears between biceps or slightly above. And then front ribs to back ribs. So we're in an extended half forward fold. Draw up on the thighs, draw up on the kneecaps, keep the belly pulling up, front ribs to back ribs. Keep your breath flowing. Push down into your hands, lift up, and then walk in. You're going to keep your hands on the chair. Yes, you are. This back arm is going to bend. We're finding a twist here. Your front hand is pushing down, and then you're moving your hips away, like in a twist, away from the chair. You might even turn the toes open a little bit. And then we're drawing real tall, real, real tall. And if your body is not on the twisty side, keep it small. If you notice, I didn't even put my mat out. This is a practice you can do. You don't have to pull your mat out. This doesn't require a lot of setup. You just need a chair and a little bit of space. You don't even have to move the chair away from where it is. You can move yourself to the chair. Good. Come around through center. Pause. Walk back out to where we were in that extension. Extended half forward fold. Couple breaths here. And then push into the hands, come back in. So now you're going to get a back view. So this back arm bends, the front arm keeps down, and then maybe turning the toes away from the chair, turning the hips away from the chair, if it's there for you. If that feels too extreme, we'll leave it off. fluid breath, in and out through the nose. This back shoulder is rolling open. One more inhale, and then come back through center. You're going to keep your right foot forward. You're going to step your left foot back. Your left heel is rooted down. So, Feet at about hips distance, so I like to take the feet a little wider than what you think, and that just gives you more space, it gives you a stronger foundation. From here, if you're good here, you're just going to stay here and work the legs straight. If you feel like you've got some mobility, you start to move away from the chair and maybe come into that same position we had with the legs in parallel. But if this feels like too much, you come here, you work the spine long, and we breathe. So now we're, we're asking this hand.
hamstring to give a little bit. Yeah? Front ribs to back. Breathe into your back rib cage, into your side rib cage. Press into your hands, pick up your back heel, step forward, and then just switching sides. Left foot is forward, right foot is back. Feet at about hips distance, maybe even a little wider. Give yourself space and then maybe you drop in here. So my back heel is rooted, my toes are turned a little forward, but my ankles are pretty mobile, so you might have to turn your back foot open more and that's totally fine. But we're trying to work the toes as far forward as we can while keeping the back heel down. Pressing into the hands, picking up the back heel, and then coming forward. Beautiful. You can take one hand to the, to the chair, turning sideways. Just roll the chest open. Give your shoulders a couple rolls here. Beautiful. And then you're going to turn this opposite leg. So I have left hand, or I'll mirror you. This is right hand on the chair. I'm going to pick up my left heel, turn the knee open, and we're working on tree pose. And you've got some balance work here. So if you want, you can bring the one arm up and you can start to play with your balance and take your hand off the chair if it's there for you. If you want, you can slide your foot into your calf and you can take the arm up. You do not have to take the arm up. Use it. Take this hip, pin it in, grow taller. There's no pressure to take the foot up to the calf. If it's there for you, go for it. If it's not, don't worry about it. Lengthen from inner thigh to inner knee. Mm -hmm. Take a breath in and then release it down. Perfect. I'm actually going to give you the back view, so sorry for turning my back on you, but I want you to see what's happening in the hip. So we're going to switch sides. You can just switch sides in the chair or you can move the chair around. So watching this hip that's close to the chair, you want to pin it in. You're going to pop up that foot. You're going to turn the heel toward the inner thigh. So the tendency is that we want to drop into this hip. I think you can see it better from the back probably. Draw in and up. Use this hand to brace. Maybe the arm comes up. And this isn't like ballet, like graceful. This is like tree. This is tree pose. So strong yet soft. And then maybe slide the foot up, maybe not. And then maybe this arm floats up. And so you're wrapping this hip open and you're lengthening, but you're not jamming the knee back. It's just lengthening out. And then release it down and release the leg. Beautiful. You're going to sit in your chair. This is how we're going to finish our practice. You're going to sit in your chair comfortably, whatever that might be for you. Rest your hands on your thighs. Sit up tall. So even if there's a back, see if you can sit up off the back. You're not going to be here for very long. Allow your eyes to soften, maybe to close. Palms press down into the thighs. And then you're going to turn the thumbs to the sky to turn the palms up and then press gently, the back of the hands down so you feel the shoulders broaden, and then just relax it. Let the hands rest. Allow the breath to start to quiet and slow. Level your chin, lengthen the back of your neck. It's really easy to think that we need to do more. 
This was perfect. This was a perfect launch for your day. It's enough. You're enough. Bring your hands to your heart. Thank you for practicing with me. Come back soon. I'm Maeve. Thanks for moving with me.